This is a carnivore friendly flower that will yield you bread that is soft and pliable. And there's so many other things that you can do with it. The ingredients that we use are zero carb and there are only four. Chicken flour, ground pork rinds, gelatin and egg white protein powder. Later in the video I will share a few tips on the quality ingredients that you should be using and as with all my videos nutritional information and your shopping list is listed in the description box. Let's get into this recipe now. The ingredients for this flour is chicken flour. Now with the chicken flour I don't buy mine I've actually never bought mine. I spend 20 bucks to get a considerable amount of chicken flour and it turns out really good like this. And you're going to need 250 grams of chicken flour. Add it to a bowl. Now the next ingredient is pork rinds. This is pork rinds that have been ground and sifted and we have a fine sandy texture if you like. 125 grams of ground pork rinds. The same amount for egg white protein powder. Now I have heard that there is low quality, low whipping egg white protein powder. If you use that it's going to compromise your baking and your cooking. So try to get a good quality high whipping egg white protein powder. I highly recommend the one from Rose Valley Farms. And as I said before, 125 grams. And the last ingredient is beef powdered gelatin. 48 grams. Now you're going to mix this really well. Take your time making sure that when you're done it is one consistency in color and it is devoid of lumps as best you can. The other tip I want to give you is it's best to measure out your ingredients in grams. Don't use cups. Okay, I live in Australia and it can be, it is actually different to American cups. So for a surety, use grams. Now all the way I've been using my whisk and I spent about three, four minutes just mixing up this flour. I'm going to use a spoon now and I'm just going to make sure that I can't see any clumps of one ingredient, egg white protein or the others. And this is the color and texture. It is still a very fine flour. Okay, this is not a one-to-one -one substitute for regular standard flour. I will provide you with recipes to go with this flour that are going to work, aka the bread that I showed you early in this video. And to store it, obviously there are meat-based powders in here, so you want to store it in the freezer. I use mine straight from the freezer. I don't let it defrost or anything like that and the recipes work. Well, I hope you get to make your flour and I will be preparing some savory solutions for you. I don't think this is really going to work with sweet recipes or dessert recipes because the pork rinds and the chicken flour lend more to a savory taste. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe and be well. Well, what a lovely sunny day it is today and we've taken a wee drive from the house and you'll never guess where we've ended up, my poppets. That's right, we've come to Costco, yay! Oh look, it was a terrorist, they ran that way, it was a run by fruiting!